Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Trend Trader here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. These markets are extremely volatile, so please do your own research and trade responsibly. I just want to start off uh, before we get into the uh, price technical analysis and uh, talk a little bit about market psychology. Um, I did have a uh, buy order set, uh, like I discussed, at... Um, I mean, I just, I was asleep when this move happened, and I had 70.55 was my uh, buy, and I just missed it, and, you know, I woke up and did my morning routine, got ready, and, uh, you know, I slept in a little bit today, uh, typically get up, you know, pre, uh, I try to be ready for the market opens and everything, and uh, key times in the market, and for me, like, 7 uh, a.m. my time is a big time from like 6 to 7 a.m. There's typically a lot of uh, big moves, um, you know, because it's early in the morning. Basically, people are waking up, trying to front run like good positions, etc. And then often like uh, the opposite will happen throughout the day. So there'll be like a big push up in the morning, then I'll sell off all day or there'll be a big dump in the morning and then I'll go up all day. Uh, and if you miss that, that entry, um, you know, typically it'll be difficult to get a good risk reward or swing position um, off of uh, off of that. So I just want to stress the importance of, you know, basically just getting a good night's sleep and, uh, you know, knowing that in a 24 hour market, like you're going to miss some moves. And, uh, you know, FOMO works in both directions. Like FOMO, you, you want to FOMO into a trade when it goes up, you might want to FOMO into the trade on its way back down. And uh, the situation we had this morning, basically, you know, I missed that long trade, missed that long entry. I don't like to have a ton of, you know, orders on the books, especially not right now in such an indecisive time because, you know, we could get a massive dump and it could just blow straight through and, you know, crush my stop loss, whatever. That's fine. So, you know, if I'm not actively managing my positions, uh, you know, or already have a great entry or whatever, uh, I typically won't just leave trades on the books. Uh, it, you know, larger trades on the books, but, you know, I did miss the entry this morning, it popped up, and then, you know, by the time I was, uh, you know, ready to start trading and take a look at the charts and everything, um, it had already sold back off, um, you know, basically below the 89 uh, moving average on the 4-hour, uh, which essentially what I was looking to do was, I was looking to take that buy down here, uh, like I said, off of uh, the 786 or the 618, depending how you were kind of like fibbing, uh, if you're fibbing from the bottom of the channel or bottom of the uh, swing to the, our top little swing right here, or if you were fibbing on uh, just the uh, pullback from here to the top right here, uh, we basically bounced off of the 618 of the entire move or the 786 perfectly of uh, you know just this wave, which essentially would be potential for reversal. And then it looks like based on how this candle looks, it looks like we got the push up, we put in a lower high. Uh, and now we got a strong rejection and my point is is that I actually missed this trade in two directions So I didn't get filled on the way in and then it popped up and then I was you know I wasn't ready to trade yet obviously I was asleep or I wasn't you know wasn't at my computer and uh, you know it had already sold back off and you know That's like a double FOMO situation because you could FOMO when you see it's already popped up and get wrecked and it starts selling off And then you try to FOMO into a short or whatever and then it can come back up too so it's important to not feel like you missed out on a trade, um, you know, and especially it, that's where the market psychology comes in. If you see something happening and you thinking, you know, you think and you plan it out or put it in your trading plan or, you know, you just do TA and you see in the chart and you say, OK, it looks like it might, you know, pop up off here. This is a good position in the market to take a trade, whatever. Even if you don't take that trade, that's fine, because all that does is just tell you that your technical analysis is working. So there's nothing wrong with doing technical analysis and not using every single bit of it and not making every single trade you see or missing out on a trade because you didn't get filled or you didn't get filled all the way or getting stopped out and then the trade moves against you. You know, the fact of the matter is, is that every single one of these like small situations is essentially like a learning experience. I mean, I could have just as easily accumulated uh, somewhere along the way in here and picked up a portion of my position. Um, I almost never use a single entry to get into a position. And in this situation, I only had one entry set up. Um, so there's a lot of different things I could have done. I could have had a resting uh, order on the books for a short 
which I did not as well. Um, you know, any of those things, you know, could have been potential. But to tell you the truth, if I would have put a short on the books right here, I probably would have had my short either at 75.32 off the 89 or I would have had it off of the 200 up here at 79.45. So honestly, this would have probably either got filled and then stopped out or I wouldn't even got hit either way. But my point basically just being that, you know, it's okay to miss out on trades. And then if you're doing technical analysis and you're seeing what's happening in the charts, even if you didn't take every single trade you see, you're at least getting better at something. It's like saying that, <clears throat> it's like going to like, you know, if you're on a sports team or whatever and you go to practice every week, like even though you don't get to pe play in every minute of every game, it doesn't mean you're not going to continue to get better by going to practice. So that's all I'm getting at is that, you know, don't feel like you FOMO missed out. Instead, it should be like that conditioning. Like, you know, I woke up this morning, I saw, you know, this big green candle and thought, yeah, that would have been nice to pick up. I wonder what percent that was, you know, and see obviously that, you know, my order didn't get filled and I was a little bummed out or whatever. But at the same time, I still felt good because I was like, oh, OK, uh, you know, the market did basically one of the two scenarios that. I was expecting to play it out, played out, and now here we popped up, and now we're selling off from there, getting rejected. So that's another scenario that I basically was expecting to happen. So essentially, even if you miss some of these trades, it's not that big of a deal. And now you'll see too when the indicators line up as well. It's like confirmation.